Okay, so let's look at some peripheral nerve entrapment sites in and around the elbow here. So we've talked about the radial nerve coming down through here. Okay, the radial nerve comes through here and actually passes through the supinator muscle. So the supinator muscle is one of those muscles that we're going to look at. We're also going to look at median nerve entrapment for the pronator teres, and I see that as a prerequisite for our carpal tunnel. So these two areas are missed quite a lot. So we've got pronator, and then we've obviously got the supinator. So supinator is more to do with the radial nerve, and then we have pronator teres, which is more related to the median nerve and carpal tunnel. Now, I see a lot of this radial nerve entrapment primarily with a lot of um, people doing wide grip um, chin-ups. You tend to find that they obviously get entrapped through here and then also through here. And they do tend to think they've got more of a biceps tendon issue and lateral elbow pain. Okay, so how do we treat this? It's quite simple because we have our brachioradialis here. And basically we roll off the brachioradialis and we sink into a little sort of intramuscular fossa there, okay? And that's literally right in there is where our supinator is. So we'll push the basically the supinator up against the radial bone and we can work along there. So a little bit of cream here, quite simple, okay? Just find the edge of your brachioradialis, which is here. If you can't find that, just get your clients to push up against you in a flexion, and you'll see there's the brachioradialis there, okay, and relax. So if you can't find it, that's where it is there. So if we sink off, then you'll find that we're into that little area there, okay? So it sinks into here. So what we're going to do here is we just basically work just through along the length here, but not with our fingers and not our thumbs because I don't want us to go in here with our thumbs because that's once again not going to be great for our thumbs doing lots of that work. So we're going to come in here. We're actually going to use this part of our pointer finger. So just going into so. So we can sink into this. Okay, so we come off the edge of that brachioradialis. We can sink down into that area there. And then what we're going to do is just slowly supinate out of pronation working along the length okay like so okay so I'll demonstrate again so we just sink in so we've got the wrist in this position here okay and then we slowly just supinate out and then we sink down onto that supinator muscle along the length and just as you get into the crease of the elbow just going to back off just through there, like so. Okay, demonstrate again. Once again, sinking down, okay, along, off the edge, and then into that little intramuscular fossa where the supinator sits, like so. Okay, really simple. Small portion here, but makes a big difference. You may sometimes get some lateral elbow pain demonstrated out in this area while you're working that area. Okay, now, if we're talking about the median nerve, then we're talking about pronator teres, which comes across here, and the median nerve comes underneath. See a lot, of, a lot of clients coming in for carpal tunnel syndrome. This is probably also the prerequisite for carpal tunnel, so an area that gets missed quite a lot. Now, people who are tight in the pronator teres, you'll find that they'll, have, they'll struggle to have their hand open and flat on the table like that, and if that's the case, that gives you a really good indication. Once again, we're going to use a loose fist. Okay, we're going to come down, so the pronator teres comes across here. We're going to start about midway up the forearm itself, and then once again, instead of what we did with the supinator, we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to come sink in, and then we're going to slowly, once again, just open up the wrist and glide along the length of the pronator teres, following it right out to that medial elbow like so and do it again sink down and along and challenge that tissue as we open up the face of the wrist as much as we can right along through to the medial elbow itself and there is a trigger point just up in this area here and it will refer down along the forearm itself so that's your pronator teres and your supinator. So we're looking at radial nerve, median nerve entrapment sites.
If you found this video useful and want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe below and don't forget to hit the notification bell.